So this is called A Year in Provence It Ain't. Uh, I only wrote it about 10 days ago and I've been trying to learn it and I don't know if I'm going to get through to the end of it, but I'll do my best anyway. I don't live in a chateau. I don't speak posh. I don't rent a converted jeet that'll cost you loads of dosh. I don't have a swimming pool or drive sports cars. I don't drink pastis or smoke gaulois. I'm not minor royalty. I'm not middle class. I don't have a silver spoon sticking out my ass. I don't drink Beaujolais, breakfast, lunch or dinner. I didn't inherit my money, nor am I a lottery winner. I don't live in an English colony and never learn the lingo. I don't read English papers, play gin rummy, bridge or bingo. I didn't make a killing in shares, retire in champagne form. And I didn't fiddle the taxman to buy a second holiday home. I do drive an ancient car that's already seen three owners. I live in this run-down hotel full of weirdos and loners. I reside in this obscure village where they turn the street lights out at night. And I pay rent to this landlord and he doesn't give a shite. Of bulldog spirit, of Englishness, the trace is very faint. I like France very much, yes, but a year in Provence, it ain't. I don't mix with expats because they're rude and out of hand who think that speaking loud and slowly will help French people understand. I shop in Netto, Aldi, Lidl. Yes, they have them here, selling puffins hearts in garlic sauce and toxic Moldovan beer. Food culture is pretty good though, full of rhyme and reason. They support local bio-produce and rarely eat out of season. But I don't eat frog's legs, snails, horse meat or fatted geese. Though obviously I love baguettes, croissant, champagne, wine and cheese. But they're wimps, the French, when it comes to curry. I often take the mick. When they try something spicy and say, Ooh, sa pique, sa pique, sa pique. Yes, the mountains are high, the beaches are wide, the villages are very quaint. France is very beautiful, but a year in Provence, it ain't. Yes, they've got unemployment, druggies, rapists, thieves. They think their politics are honest, but they've got surprises up their sleeves. Uh, hang on, I'm working on it. Oh yes, there's far too many civil servants who are paid to sit on their asses, incapable of making decisions without consulting their bosses. Their democracy is thriving and their unions are jolly nice. They kneel to no royal family and they've won the World Cup twice. Equality, liberty, fraternity, you often hear them shout, but the favourite hobby in France is bossing other French people about. I've lived here 15 years now, of regret I've not a trace, my way of life superior to my former British space. I arrived here with a passport, two suitcases and a grand, and I carved myself an honest life, made modern France my land. And though it isn't Provence, or anywhere near it, if it was I'd have to be born there, or call myself Brad Pitt, Though it isn't paradise, the impact will not tend. France is now my heart and home, but a year in Provence, it ain't. So a final coda. For you Brits, this will stick in your throat, as it stuck in mine like a fishing line. It's Thatcher's final gloat. When she harvested shares in British Rail, Euro train companies were the reaper. So now, every time you buy a train ticket, my train ticket is cheaper. Go figure. And if you voted Brexit, you really are a knob. You've made your own life more expensive and probably cost yourself a job. So, though the Union Jack is iconic, it needs a new lick of paint. And though I love France, I'm being ironic. A year in Provence. 
it ain't. <laughs>